सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ जपाकुसुमसाशम काशपेय महाज्योति तमोरी सर्वपापन प्रणतस्मी दिवाक दधी शंख तुषाराभम क्षीरो दाणव संभव नमा शशिना सोम शंभोर्मकूषण धरणी गर्भ संभूत विद्युत्कंति सभम कुमार शक्ति हस्त तम मंगल प्रणमा हम प्रियांगु काली का श्याम रूपेण प्रतिमं बुधम सौम्यम सौम्य गुणो बुधम प्रणमा हम दिवना चिषिना चुरु कंचन सन्नीभम उदिभूत त्रिलोकेशम तम नमा बृहस्पति हिमकुंद मृणालभम दायत्या परम गुरु सर्वशास्त्र प्रवक्ता भार्गव प्रणमाम्यहम नीलांजन सभासम रविपुत्र यमाग्रज छायामर्तंड संभूत तम नमा शनाश्वर अर्धकाय महावीर चंद्रादीत विमर्दनम सिंहिकागर्भ संभूत तम राहुम प्रणमाम्यहम पलाशपुष्पाशम तारकाग्रहमस्तक रौद्रम रौद्रत्मकोर तम के प्रणमाम्यहम ओ शि 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 ओ फेसिंग दिव्य जी वन पी एम हिर् Uh, noon there. Um, sorry to take all the one hour and a half, but you see that it was how many slides. <laughs> no, thank you. This was very interesting, and I appreciate that you kept stressing how important it is to be open to changing the ways we do things as we go through uh, the trans as we transition into a new major period, and I think that's so important because. Again, as you said, it will be less suffering, <laughs> and we'll get the most out of it. So um, that was really helpful. Well, I have two questions. So the first one is, how do you explain it, and can you see this in a chart of somebody who dies prematurely, mm -hmm. whether having an accident or like illness or something like that? So usually, the person will die in the third, in the fifth, or in the seventh. Okay, if the person doesn't die in the third, the fifth, or the seventh, we get very worried about that. I mean, in the eighth, in the ninth, it's not a problem. But if the person dies in the first, the second, the first is not so problematic, but maybe the second, the fourth, and the sixth. If a person dies in the sixth, second, fourth, and sixth, we should stop things and we should do some rituals and so on. So that this soul can have a departure gate. Okay. The person can have a premature death in the third karmic period. The person can have an early death in the fifth karmic period, or the person can have a natural death in the seventh karmic period, and that is fine in the sense that the departure gate was open. But if the person is stuck in the karmic airport, in the second, in the fourth, in the sixth, the person is not going to be allowed it. To departure, and the person is probably going to become a ghost. Okay, so it's a very strong implications. So if the person doesn't born on these three premature, early, or natural gates, we can be worried. Okay, I'm not saying that it's not possible that person become a ghost or a Buddha when the person dies in the third, in the fifth, or in the seventh. But the gate is kind of. Sucking 
that burst out. Okay. And when it's the second and the fourth and the sixth, the person can just like um, drop from the 10th ten, ten floor of a building and the person doesn't die. You mean how the person didn't die? <laughs> because the, um, the death gate is, was just like, sorry, go back. Okay, does this answer? Yeah, it's interesting when you say the death gate is open. Yeah. Never thought about that <laughs> in this way. So thank you. Well, okay. So what about, so in, in Vedic culture, we understand that somebody who is fully surrendered to God, right? Their, their, their life is fully surrendered. Somebody who is very pure and fully surrendered to God, that God can change the karma of that person. And, and I've met a person who, they will have their chart read and the astrologer will say, you know, you were supposed to die a while ago or something like that, but somehow things that were kind of, there was, was meant to happen or there was the, the, the situation or the energy was there to happen. It didn't happen. So what is, what is your explanation of, of, of the way of transcending karma in a sense in this body in my example i have a premature death design in my chart okay during my moon period i died i was um what do you know uh, and there was a uh, the bus go went through my bicycle and my hand was smashing the asphalt and i went out of my body and i saw that light and all those kind of stuff Wow. And there they asked me, do you want to return or do you want to departure now? Okay. So from a karmic perspective, I have died. Okay. I know what is the experience of feeling light. Dying is not actually a problem. It's not so problematic itself. But our attachment to the world can be very problematic. Okay. So in that moment, I have died, but I have received a, a blessing, we can say like this, or a chance, okay? Or a question, would you like to come back or not? And I stood there for a second and I said, look, I want to come back, okay? I think it's not yet the proper time yet to leave, okay? So in my chart, there is the indication that I am, uh, there is a, probab a high probability that I will die in that moon period. That moon period in my third period, okay? So, one thing is the karmic current that is designed the moment that you, that you are born. The other things are the merits that you earn during this life process. What you're living right now, it's a sum from the karmic point that you were born plus all the merits and the merits all the punya and papa that you have go gone through this life so my answer is because i have done some punya karma some proper actions during this life i was allowed to be asked if i wanted to be alive or not of course, there is consequence. Up to now, my left hand is not completely healed. But who cares? I did not lose my... For you, just to have the glance of the... What is the, the size of the miracle? The guy that it was in the ambulance. In Brazil, 1% or less of the people, the, the doctors that are in the ambulance, know how to pick a vein and make a pre-operatory action in the ambulance so that the person doesn't need to amputate. And the guy in that, my ambulance was 1% one, 1 of those kind of situations. The doctor said, look, it's a miracle. And they, you, don't, you know that scene of Terminator 2, I'll be back when there is just the, in my case, the bones. My, my, my hand was just bony there. It was completely destroyed, okay? So the karma is born in your chart, but what you're going through, it's a 
combination of the karma where you're born and the actions that you do during your life. So that's not actually true that you can read your future from the chart. Because the chart is only showing, the natal chart, the kundli, is only showing what is your, 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 um, your savings, okay? Your current, it's your merits and the merits on this life. And they, do, they both relate. So sometimes, Divya, when a person asks, is this because a previous life problem or is this because of what this life problem? When a, a, a situation is clear in the Prashna chart, but it's not clear in the birth chart, we can say that this is more related to this life merit and demerit than to the uh, savings of the birth chart. Mm. Okay, Minda asks, can I still receive a consult before enrolling in course? Sure, we are going to do our best. I think we can do on Wednesday or Thursday and so. Okay, then. Look, it's not necessary that you do for people that are listening in the, the class. The consultation in the beginning of the first class and because we are going to take two or three classes so that we start that more heavy, heavy uh, part of the course, okay? But if we can do before April 15, good. It's going to be our merits. <laughs> if we don't, it's going to be our merits, but who cares? The other session is going to be on April 3rd or whatever. So don't um, be so stressed about having a consultation before the 15th because you're going to see in the 15th is going to be not an introductory class because we already did two of them, but I'm going to do an uh, explanation about the Antara Dasha periods, okay? It's a fundamental concept that I could not bring in this. And I'm going to be with one hour and a half to explain one point and then the other points, the eight and nine periods and so. So the, sec the first and second classes in the course are going to still to be having those, please pay attention, miss three points. This is the last call for this course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. Is it answered, DVG? Yes, thank you so much. And I'm, I'm, um, um, I'm really grateful that you continue to teach, um, because really understanding your karmic patterns can really help you reduce suffering for sure, and your perception of suffering and your perception in life. So, so I'm always happy to <laughs> support you and in your teaching and helping people because you've helped me tremendously as well and continue to help. And, um, and also very excited about your center. And really I encourage everybody who is listening um, to contribute because I know even $20 make, it's, it's a lot in Brazil mm -hmm. and it can help a lot because just having, I know myself also having a base, a place which is a base that you can use for people to come and to experience many aspects of Vedic culture and feel better, elevate better. What you're doing also is helping people um, live a more pious life, like live a life of good actions so that they can, they can have good consequences. And you're helping through education. We also help people avoid the mistakes of life, avoid the the uh, negative actions that can lead to negative reactions uh, later on. So um, great service you're doing to everybody. And I wish you all success and all support yeah. to you. I'm I sure you're you successful. <laughs> so that we could come here today and I understand it. This, everyone, people, please say thanks for, to uh, Divya G, to Katie, to Kate, uh, because this was kind of a, pushing some buttons here so we can read this today, not only for me, but for their um, staff also. So I appreciate your effort, DVG. Thank you very much. And sorry about <laughs> bringing some extra stress to your account here. Oh, but no, was, no, no. It was worth it, right? It was, was effortless. Effort. This was effortless. So don't worry about that. So yeah. Um, Ungura
गुरवे नमः ओम गुरवे नमः ओम 